The stream deck has been out for nearly four years now. And as time has gone by, there's been many updates and new software available for the Stream Deck. Today I'm going to be showing you five plugins that you need for your Stream Deck in 2021 that improve productivity and better stream management. So as you can see here, we're in our Stream Deck software. As you can see, I've got a blank canvas. I don't have any buttons activated at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on more actions and here we can see a bunch of applications that are showing up. If you haven't used any other applications with the Stream Deck before, this section will show you all the applications that you can download for your uh, Stream Deck. As you can see, there's quite a lot here and there's quite a lot you can download. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to download Spotify integration. Now, Spotify integration allows us to control music, control playlists, control volume of our Spotify and our Spotify account directly through the Stream Deck. So it's very convenient, not only for streaming, but also not streaming. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to install the plugin. So once you have the plugin installed, um, we're going to look to our right hand side of the screen. And we're going to see a bunch of applications here that we can use and a bunch of drop downs we can use. Now we can see our newly recent installed application, which is a Spotify Bar Raider. What we're going to do is we're just going to click on that and we're just going to drag one of the hotkeys over. So play and pause and we're going to put it right in the middle here. Uh, so as you can see here, we've been prompted with a Spotify setup. Uh, this means we need to link our account to Spotify so the Stream Deck can communicate with our Spotify account so we can control the music do here is we're going to click on link account. Now as you can see here we need a client ID and a client secret. For setup instructions we're going to click on the link up here. So once we've clicked on the link now what we want to do is we want to click on the top link up here. So we're just going to click on that. Um, we're going to log in to our account. Uh, once we've logged in we will see a little section that'll say create new app. As you can see I already have an app there but we're going to make create a new app. It doesn't really matter what you name it, uh, but we're going to call it Pandas uh, Spotify. And the description will be uh, Stream Deck API. You can just name it whatever you want. Uh, make sure you click on all these boxes. Uh, make sure you read through all the stuff. It's always important. Uh, and we're going to hit Create here. Um, all we need to do is click on Edit Settings up top here. And then we need to pop up our link that we had up before from the Stream Deck uh, when we signed up. We need to copy this link just down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it onto website, into the website section. We're also gonna add the same link to the redirect URLs. So the same link we had for website into the same as redirect URLs. Once that's done, click on save. So once that's done, uh, what we wanna do next is we wanna click on, on the left-hand side, show client secret. We want to copy the client ID. As you can see here, I have it blurred out. We want to copy that. And then what we want to do is go back to our Stream Deck API key where we were at before. We want to paste our client ID into that section. We want to do the same with the client secret. So we want to copy that, right click it, uh, go back into your Stream Deck and then paste that into client secret. And then once that's done, uh, we can hit submit. Once that's done, uh, you'll see this prompt. It'll say based on the information you provided, you'll now be re redirected to uh, authorize the plugin to communicate with your Spotify account. If you have a spot, if you have a premium Spotify account, start by clicking here. Uh, this will be for premium users. So if you have a premium account, you want to click on that link over there. We'll see a bunch of information here, just terms and conditions, what we're proving to the communication. Um, we want to hit agree. And then we'll get this big ass approval code. So what we want to do here is we want to copy this code. So copy that. We want to go back to our stream deck and we want to paste that approval code into our, our section over there. And once that's done, we can submit code, wait for it to validate. It's a code accepted. So once that's done, you'll see a little pop-up uh, where we had our hotkey. And as you can see, the music is playing and you can control it now. Um, with this function, it's pretty cool. You can see the song, uh, you can see the duration of the song. Um, if you press it, it'll pause the song and then, you know, press it again, it'll resume the song. We can also add some more hotkeys. We can do previous songs, so that'll take us to a previous song. We can also do next song. We can have a hotkey to like the song. We can even change the volume, so we can do volume up. 
and volume down, we can increase the volume or decrease the volume straight through Spotify itself. Uh, so as you can see, this is a great uh, plugin for streaming and not for streaming. Uh, when you're doing a lot of work and you want to control your music easily, uh, you could use this to do that. Um, change song, increase volume. Uh, it's great for royalty free music through Spotify when you're streaming. And it's great for when you're just doing work at home. So the next plugin we're going to be checking out is called CPU. Now this was made by Elgato themselves, so it's super, super easy to implement into your stream deck. Uh, so, so once it's installed, it's going to be in a different section. So we're going to look for the custom icon. So we're going to click that. As we can see here, we have a couple of options here. Uh, we're going to drag the CPU hotkey over to OBS. We're just going to plonk it like that. And it's easy as that. So when you're streaming or playing games, you can see what your CPU usage is. Uh, this is great for when you're streaming and when you're not streaming um, to see what your computer's doing. You can see what your CPU usage is. Um, it's great. So it's as easy as that. So the next plugin we're gonna be checking out is called OBS Tools. Now you might be wondering, I already have an OBS section in my stream deck. We have a few options here, as you can see in the OBS studio. Uh, we have scene switch, mix audio, record, stream, source. But if we're looking for more advanced features than those options, um, we're going to use OBS tools for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to click install. So once we have that installed, we're going to go down to the bottom and look for OBS tools slash bar raider. So we're going to click on that. We're just going to add a hotkey for now. We're going to click on that. It's going to take us to this uh, prompt up here. Initial setup. So it's going to be the same process with Spotify. We need to link the uh, software to OBS so it can communicate. Um, we're gonna hit continue. So what we need to do now is go to find our WebSocket settings. So we need to go to tools at the top here. And we need to go to WebSocket settings, uh, find our server port number. If you have a password uh, set to it, um, make sure you copy that as well. Uh, we're gonna copy our uh, port number and then we're gonna go back to the stream deck. You can see here, um, we have our port number in there and we have our IP number in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna submit settings. And as you can see, it's verified, it's all ticked, it's all done, and we're gonna hit close. So once that's done, uh, we can add some hotkeys uh, to OBS since it's all connected and verified. Um, so the first one we can add is drop frames. Drop frames will tell us uh, when we uh, drop frames on stream, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if we drop frames on stream, we can see how many frames we're dropping just through our stream deck itself. So maybe if you don't have OBS on a separate window and you can't really see what you're doing, um, this is a great alternative for that. The next one I really like quite a lot is Previous Scene. So we can drag that hotkey over here as well. Um, so this hotkey will take us to our previous scene, just like that. And then it will take us back. So that'll take us to the last scene that we're at which is really cool. Um, another great hotkey, which I really enjoy, is filter toggle. So this hotkey will allow us to uh, deactivate and activate filters through OBS, which uh, the stream deck can't already do itself. So this is a great alternative as well. And as you can see, pretty easy to set up. You just need the source name, you need the filter name. But as you can see here, there are plenty of other hotkeys that we could use for OBS. Uh, there are some really cool ones here that are very, very useful. Next plugin we're gonna be checking out is called Speed Test. So Speed Test is pretty much a plugin uh, that goes through your Stream Deck that can check your uh, download speed and your upload speed, uh, just like the website can. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just install it. So the Speed Test hotkey will be in under Bar Raider, under this section over here. Uh, we can see Speed Test over there. And then voila, so what we do is we press it. So once it's done, as you can see here, um, we can see our download speed, which is down. The green one is download uh, 71 and our upload is 37. And it shows you what time it's recorded, shows you our ping as well. If you ever wondered what your internet's connection's doing or before you start a stream, if your internet's all good, uh, this is a great hotkey to use uh, to activate that. So the last plugin we're gonna be checking out is called Mic Mute. Now this plugin will allow us to mute any audio source through our computer. So once we've got it installed, we want to go to the custom section on the stream deck, and then we want to find audio mute. So we'll find that right here. As you can see, it's a hotkey. Uh, this is pretty easy to set up, as you can see. Now you can pick a device that you want to mute. So we'll pick our input device, and that will be the microphone Yeti. 
Uh, so we'll click that and it will mute uh, my uh, mic. So if we add a, another hotkey, we can choose to mute another source of audio that might be coming out, maybe such as my uh, speakers that I have going on here. So if we press that, uh, that'll mute the speakers that are coming through. So this could be used for streaming, this could be used for non-streaming, or when you do a BRB, you can just mute your mic, or if you want to mute your speakers, or mute any other audio that's coming out. Uh, you can do that too. So that one's pretty easy to set up, pretty straightforward. So that's five of my favorite plugins that I use for my Stream Deck. A bunch of other applications that you can download for the Stream Deck in the app section. Um, anything from looking at the time to looking at some stocks or playing some mini games. I hope you found this video helpful. These are my favorite plugins for the Stream Deck in 2021. I use a lot of these effects on my Twitch stream, which I stream four days a week. So I'd love to hear back from you guys if you've got any cool ideas or cool suggestions for any plug-in. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Adios! <laughs>